Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've got a brand new video for you today and it's all about stage one tune at Revo. I've been really excited to get this done to my van. It's one of the things which is under the bonnet so you can't see it from the outside, but boy, you can feel it. If anybody else is interested in this, you might want to check this video out. Follow it right through to the end because you're going to learn a lot from this. I filmed a behind the scenes video at Revo whilst they carried this process out on the van. So fix yourself a drink, get comfortable and check this video out. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Whoa. It's, uh, it's me, I'm you. What's going Guys, on? What are you doing? I'm just trying to uh, sort out tuning. I told you to take it to Revo. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I told you to take it to Revo, didn't I? Yeah. Stop messing around. I've made you an appointment. Put this bonnet down and take it to Revo. Okay? Yeah, cool. Yeah. I hope you like that little intro. Um, to, in all seriousness, we're gonna take this van to the best in the business, Revo, uh, in Daventry. I'm going to the HQ and we're about to get on the road. So let's do it. Okay, so I've plugged in first of all with uh, VCDS as I said I was going to do. The first thing I've done is I've run a fault check across the whole vehicle. Yeah. Um, good practice just to make sure everything's healthy, 
no stored faults or anything like that. Sure. First thing I've come across on the engine is actually a stored fault. Now, this is a SCR NOX Catalyst Bank 1 fault on a 150. That's actually very, very common. Okay. Um, there is actually a Volkswagen factory update for it. Now, as part of our, there's no hardware needed, it's just a software update. Okay. As part of what we do, because we use the latest Volkswagen files, yeah. we will naturally put that update on it. So that fault that's showing now should go, right. but it is a common 150 one. Okay. These are the basics that I'll be logging. Um, you can see the items on there going through. So we've got the engine speed. Uh, we want to see what the turbo is doing, both what the ECU is asking for and what yeah. it's actually getting. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at the engine oil temperature because obviously you don't want to go out and do a full single gear pull if the engine's cold. You need to get up to temperature first of all. Intake temperatures are really important. Uh, we'll have a look at the uh, limitation of the torque and the fueling. And then we're looking at all the exhaust gas temperatures as well through various different sensors. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll also be checking, uh, this will be one log, then we'll do another log where we're actually checking things like the DPF to make sure that it's all healthy and it's not overloaded or anything like that. As part of the process, we, we probably will do a DPF regen anyway, because uh, it's just a good practice. At least then it's all nice and clear and it'll breathe better. Uh, but yeah, for the first log, we'll do this one and then we'll do the other one on the way back. So yeah, part of the data logging procedure is to basically put the vehicle under as much pressure as you can. Uh, an ideal solution would be to go up a really steep hill, high gear, air conditioning on and everything to put it under as much load as possible. But you've got to make do with what you've got locally. Um, so we, we've got a, a good stretch of road there, which is quite open. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll load it up in a single gear, uh, typically fourth. Um, it depends on what you like with speed limits as well. Obviously you've got to be careful, but we tend to load it up in third or fourth on the road uh, and just go right down from the rev range, so 1500, 1800 RPM, and we hold it all the way up as much as we can. Obviously on a diesel you do tend to run out of um, puff with the turbo uh, as you're going along, unlike a petrol which keeps on giving for a higher RPM, yeah. but uh, yeah, that's, that's typically how we do a decent data log. So I'm just coming up to it now and we're off. We've done a nice long pull. You're putting the vehicle under quite a lot of pressure, and that's really good to look at things like the exhaust gas temperatures because the higher gear you're in, the longer the pull, the exhaust gas temperatures tend to get a bit higher uh, than they would typically just from driving around normally because you're putting under that much pressure. practice really is to make sure we've got a good constant supply to the battery. Yep. One of the worst things you can do is try and install software onto a vehicle. If the battery voltage drops and drops and drops and drops, if the fans start running, yeah. you could end up with a very expensive paperweight okay. being an ECU. So this is done with engine running then? No, no, the, the, the ignition's on, okay. but the engine isn't running. I see. Obviously so with your charged. ignition on, there's various drains on it. So right. it's always good just to you know make sure it's all topped up, got yeah. a constant steady supply to it. Yeah. Uh, very good practice to do that, otherwise exactly. it's, uh, so it's a bit risky. Like a computer, it could crash on you. If exactly, you're halfway through. exactly. If the voltage drops too low, the ECU will actually close down. Yeah. And then, as I say, you're in a whole world of trouble when that happens, yeah. so. If you click on that connect to vehicle sign. Touch screen or? Uh, it's not, unfortunately, we're in the dark ages. So that's now communicating with the vehicle itself to get the ECU part number. Yeah. With this being an ECU uh, and a 
DSG, you've got two. So you've, your gearbox has its own software part number, yeah. and then your ECU has a part, where, part software number. Yes. Okay? Yeah. The software version is at 3771. Okay. Um, we always want to either flash the same or a higher. Mm -hmm. Never, ever, ever go backwards. Right. You go backwards, again, you're going to end up with a, it's like backdating your phone, you'd never do it. Yeah. All right? No, it makes sense. So, so if I Yeah, down, so if you click on that one there, yeah. okay. that's now going to search our library to make sure we've got a file for it. Yeah. There we go. All right, and we have a stock file and we have a stage one file. Right. Now, this is exactly the one for your vehicle because it's 3771. Okay. All you need to do is just click on that next arrow and then click the green tick. You've remapped your own van. <laughs> I am in the wrong job. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just going to load. to contain my smiles. So this is Alex, working for Revo as well. Um, he, we're getting an exclusive behind the scenes today because they're obviously also filming, they've got all the gear here. Um, and I'm really pleased to be a part of this because we can take you on this journey. You're gonna see some real behind the scenes stuff. Um, Alex has produced some fantastic videos. Mm. Just to throw some figures down, that means that you really should visit Revo. Um, I'll put a link to the channel uh, at the end of this video and just go and check out some of the work he's responsible for. I've put 18,000 miles on this vehicle and not a single one has felt like that. It is insane. You have completely converted me. Um, it is what you said and I'm so impressed with that. I know um, you, you just got to be here to feel that and I'm just it's insane so good I really thank you I'm really pleased you're happy with it yeah I've got some uh, a couple of little bits for you sweet got our new and exclusive air fresheners whoa always love an air always got to have an air freshener nice you've got a van you've always got to have an air freshener <laughs> very nice <laughs> and then we have this this is what we call our logbook uh, okay. so it's just basically proof that you've got Revo installed on your van uh, it's obviously come from us. We've got all your vehicle's details down on there, VIN number, what we've done to it, a bit more about us in there as well. So it's something tangible for you to take. Uh, and then should you come to sell the vehicle in the future, you know, you've physically got that proof it's got Revo on it because obviously you can't see software. Um, see, uh, whereas... It's also got a nice space to put stage two and stage three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can keep on building.
guys welcome back again uh, it's been a few days my end to get to used to the van and try and understand where the difference in the range is and that sort of thing obviously there's more power but there's low down increment power there's there's definitely a, 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 an improvement from a standing start but i tell you from 60 65 to wherever uh, it shifts it's just continues to pull and the range of power is right the way through um, you know it's, it's not like a VTEC where you sort of get right up in the rev and then bang you hit the power this is really pulling nicely through um, and you know I, I believe the figures will reflect even better economy when you're not pressing down too hard on it it's so genuinely wet that you know there's no bad news here anyway I'm gonna give this a spin up the road now try and film this and uh, see what you think into sport and three two one go guys so i just want to take this opportunity to thank revo for inviting me along uh, i feel really privileged to have been on this journey with them and uh, been able to film a kind of behind the scenes on my van whilst they were filming their own video um, actually i will link their channel and um, the video will go up very soon i'm sure on their channel so i suggest you go over and have a little look at that um, and uh, you met um, very briefly alex in my video uh, he is their cameraman um, and uh, Alex Bones Racing is where you can find him on um, various social media. I'm going to put a link to his channel as well and I suggest that you go and check out his footage. Um, it's, um, if you're into the car game uh, you'll find the sort of work that he churns out really interesting and uh, I'll, I'll put a link now to probably one of most, his most recent videos that I watched recently and was absolutely phenomenal as well with his Audi so uh, go and check him out, give him a follow follow um, and um, as well a big thank you to Paul who you saw mostly in the video uh, he's also part of the community and has got a lovely red t5 which you will have seen in the video as well and um, yeah um, I will link his details below as well for so if you're interested in following Paul you can go and see what he does I don't think he's on YouTube but he's on um, Instagram so if you're interested in getting your uh, vans or buses tuned um, you, I suggest you contact Revo uh, they do have something like 400 authorized outlets but get in touch with uh, Revo and I, if you can't see your local one I'm sure they'll direct you okay so I'm going to pour all the links down in the bottom as well um, just to make just in case I've forgotten anything and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video too if you have please do give the video a thumbs up share with anybody you think that might be interested in this software package and um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that's it guys i'm going to wrap it up i'm going to get on i'm going to go and enjoy this van and i thank you all for watching cheers